Thank you so much for being here today. I'm so excited because today's video is a fall coffee bar inspired coffee bar, which will be right behind me. I love coffee and I love creating these little vignettes to create a little cozy fall coffee bar. So I did a fall coffee bar back a couple years ago and I haven't done it in a while. But this year I decided to start with the coffee bar ideas and inspiration. And it's starting with fall, then I'll do Halloween and of course Christmas. If you've been here for a little while, Christmas is always such a fun one because it's the hot cocoa bar. But anyways, we're gonna start with fall first. But I wanted to introduce you guys, Nikki Michelle. She is a super dear friend of mine. She'll be creating her own fall coffee bar. We are both super fans of coffee and so I'm really excited to be partnering with her today. She is a wonderful friend and a great mom to a little guy, super hardworking and I just, I adore her. I'll make sure to leave her video and her channel linked down below so you guys can go check out her channel and her video that we're collaborating on. If you love coffee or if you just love coffee bar inspiration, you guys are definitely going to have tons of ideas today. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I have tons of fall videos linked down below. They're really good ones. I have simmer pot recipes, decorating, and just cleaning as well. So tons of fall inspiration. But let's get started with this fall coffee bar. All right, so this is where I'm at. I'm having some really hard trouble hiding all these cords. So I was kind of playing with the arrangement of all this and then I had my husband put this up for me for to like display my mugs and I always have mugs so and then I did put in these lights because this corner is super dark that's with all the lights on in the kitchen well it's daylight right now but it's pretty much dark a lot of the times so I had these lights put in I just did them myself I can do it, you can do it. I'll leave them linked down below. But I really love how it just brightens up that area. So those are like two major things that I did to make this space a little more happier, I guess. But I think I may even place a runner underneath just to like anchor everything because it's like my little corner of coffee nest. And these are all the items I will be using. Some is like from the Target Dollar Spot. I've had some of these stuff. I got these two this year from Marshalls. And got these towels I'm going to be using. And pumpkins. As you see, it's just like a little collection of items. Now my Nespresso machine is brand new. Haven't made my first coffee yet. But we'll be doing that after today. After I get it all set up. And this little marble tray is from Target. Super heavy. It's so beautiful. And I'm hoping I can use it. And just starting this fall coffee bar just by making a quick iced coffee. This is my go-to when I want to make an iced coffee. And like I had mentioned, I will have Nikki's channel linked down below, but on her Home with the Nikki channel, she does home decorating on her channel, and she actually also has a cleaning channel specifically geared towards cleaning motivation. She is a working mom, and that channel is called Nikki Michelle, but I will leave all these channels and her Instagram, her video that we're collaborating on, linked it down below. She's doing like a little twist on the fall coffee bar and making it a hot cocoa bar. So I'm really excited to see that and share that with you guys. But make sure to let her know that I sent you over on her video and show her some love on her channel. I know she will be so grateful to have you guys over in her community. Let it all out of me. 
And this little light rattan basket is actually like a plant holder, but I thought it would be great to hiding the cords in the back. Like I mentioned earlier, this was such an issue for me was trying to hide all of the cords and make sure I had everything displayed the way I wanted. I had even thought about taking my Ninja coffee maker away, but I don't see myself making an espresso every single day because the pods are more expensive. So I wanted to just have that as like a treat and then have my Ninja as an everyday coffee maker. And of course do the Nespresso machine coffee every once in a while. But that was my thought process behind that. And as you see, I am placing the pumpkin pie spice in just a little glass container and some little dessert treats that I got from the Dollar Tree. I do like to take my coffee to go, so I really wanted to get some of these disposable coffee cups and I got them from Marshalls and they were at the beginning of where you start the Marshalls lineup to pay. So that's where I found mine, but I just wanted to kind of let you know because I had trouble finding them and then all of a sudden there was a bunch by the registers. I know I messed up. Yeah, I know I did you wrong But I learned my lesson Now what if we could move on I feel like this is such a controversy when it comes to pumpkin candy, all this fall candy. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys enjoyed this auto mix or if you like candy corn. My whole family, my husband and the boys love this. I personally do not like it, which is shocking because I love a lot of sweet things. But let me know down below in the comments if you enjoy these little pumpkins and candy corn. I'm sorry for making you feel like you're not good enough cause you're the best you know I'm so here I'm just grinding up my own coffee the first little batch that I did was from Pete's and it's a medium roast and then I had the cafe au lait from HEB and it was a dark roast so what you'll end up seeing at towards the end of these clips is that I actually mix them together and pretty much make my own coffee very unique because it's two different flavors two different types of roast and I typically go for like a medium roast but this French vanilla from HEB sounded amazing, so I knew I had to have it, but mixing it definitely helps with how strong the coffee is. So I recommend if there's like some flavors that you like, but are just a little too dark for you, then maybe try mixing it with a light roast to make it into like a medium roast. So yeah, just a little coffee tip. So now I'm just sharing all of the after shots and then I will be doing my first taste test with the Nespresso coffee machine. I actually made an espresso but then I add my own creamer topping which uh, you will see here shortly. But I'm going to let you enjoy these after shots of this fall coffee bar and hopefully give you guys some inspiration. Maybe create your own little coffee station for this fall. Don't forget where you're coming. A heart like that, don't give up that easily. I wanna see you be mad, you get mad at me. I'm sorry for making you feel like you're not good enough. Cause you're the best, you know. I'm sorry for making you feel like you're 
So for the creamer topping, I really wanted to make it pumpkin spice related. So I used pumpkin spice, zero sugar free creamer, some heavy whipping cream and parade pumpkin. And then I actually share all of my thoughts here shortly on what I actually thought about it. And I will leave this creamer frother down below in the description so you can check it out. But it really helps with making the creamer all frothy and your coffee even yummier. Without your love, but time on again, my thoughts go back to when we were crazy kids with a lot of feelings. I'm too proud to beg and too numb for stealing. When I rode with you, it was all down here. So I am totally new to this. <laughs> Is that a shot? I don't even know, but I think it is. It stopped. So <laughs> it seems like such a little bit, but it's probably like strong. And then this one's not one of the stronger ones, but. Alright, if you hear the monitor, it's because Abby is currently sleeping, but I'm going to try this with you guys. Living without your love, but time on again, my thoughts go back to when it's really, really smooth. So surprisingly, it's not like super, super strong, which is good because I was afraid of that with like an espresso, but the four, this is a four. So it's really not that strong. But it'll be really fun to try out all the other flavors and they have like a coffee one, not just an espresso as well. So I'll be really excited to try that out. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed this fall coffee bar and got some ideas for it, inspiration. Make sure to check out Nikki's video and channel. I will have it all linked down below. She is really wonderful and I can't wait to see her coffee bar as well. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I will talk to you guys very soon and cheers. I can try. With our love.